This is a, a perfect exercise for the Halloween time period. It's also a useful and analytical exercise for students who don't have time to do or have already done a dig because it's a completely excavated site and it's one that will continue to be excavated. We have two maps and I'll give you one of each. One is the site as it currently exists and one is the site after it has been expanded and more burials have been uncovered so that students can actually come up with their conclusions and then check them as they continue to dig. There are a lot of different ways you can do this. You can do 3D or not. I find it really useful to have the 3D for the students who really like to look at things in three dimensions and walk around them. The map is great for the, the flat visual learners, but you have to prod and herd them over to look at the real 3D experience. So the goal here is for them to walk around and figure out one piece of hard evidence, to figure out the gender, age, and status of everybody in this cemetery, and then to figure out what it is exactly that's wrong with these people over here and behind this wall, which is pennies, just because they're convenient. And they're going to write up their conclusions in any form they like, and their main job is to correlate the attributes of the burials until they have discrete groups of people that seem to work together because of their burial goods or their coffin shapes or their urn colors and a whole variety of attributes. It's really fun to sit with the students and have them start evaluating what are the artifacts and what are the attributes of the artifacts and to start correlating them while people with green, narrow coffins have colored urns. And then, oh, and the people with the colored urns have colored shells and stars. And they start to pull it together. I get students who put everything on one page. They have categorized brilliantly. They have uh, something like royal male adult, every attribute they can think of. Uh, royal teen male, every attribute you can think of. It's all on one page. It's brilliant. They get an A. And there are many more students who work out from each burial to the big picture and they produce a book from each burial out color coding and commenting and thinking it through and they're just not ready to do that one pager it's a lot more work to read but it's equally fascinating and they get to the same place <laughs>